hey what's up everybody hope you guys are all doing great welcome back to our video tutorial series on how to create amazing ai chatbot in this video we're gonna focus on how to set up ai powered welcome message this one is unique this one is not like the old school boring static welcome messages that don't change and it's repetitive no matter how many times the user tries to engage with the bot this AI welcome message is cool and so dynamic it can take instructions it can mix up instructions to produce cool results and uh, before we proceed I wanted to mention that it's important that we set up welcome message because the way that the chatbot builder platform is set up we need to have welcome message set up and we need to hook them up right to give the users a nice cool user experience anytime they try to engage with our bots all right so follow along with me and we're gonna get this job done um, I'm assuming you already logged into your chatbot builder account on the left hand side you should see where it says flow right there on the left hand side menu go ahead and click on flows and you should see something like this chatbot builder recently reorganized this place and added some folders in here one of the folders should say welcome messages right here so we're gonna go ahead and click right in there and we will see that chatbot builder already provided us two AI powered welcome messages one of them is text based and the other one is audio all right i'm gonna go ahead and rename i think this one should have been renamed ai welcome message and then i could add something like text right there okay this would be a better way to name it and i'm gonna rename this one ai welcome message dash audio okay this should be good all right the reason why I named it this way is that you can create a welcome message that is not AI powered and you can create one that is AI powered so uh, let's skip this audio version for now and focus on the text based AI welcome message okay so want to go ahead and click the one right here and then we should see something like this okay now like I said before, Chatbot Builder has already built AI welcome message for us right out of the box. We could use this one right out of the box. It's ready to go, okay? But I want to peel the back of this one here so we can see how this AI welcome message was built, okay? So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click anywhere on this canvas area right here. I'm going to double click and then click send message I'm gonna pull this one right over here and then click right in this node you notice that a window popped up on the left hand side I'm gonna go ahead and click add content and then right here where it says actions I'm gonna click right there and then over here I'm gonna click open AI okay and I'm gonna keep my mouse on the left hand side click open AI and then this window pops up right here and then the first part here I'm gonna click this drop down window right here and select generate text advanced okay and then for model we want to keep it at 3.5 turbo 16k uh, this is the only option we have over here as of now so let's just stick with this one okay so over here we're gonna enter our business information prompt and we do not need we don't need a lot of instructions over here okay I'm gonna copy one that I created over here let me just copy this one right here and then paste that right inside here okay and then here you can see where it says you are a helpful assistant for account name now I'm using account name field right here uh, it's the same as the name that we provided when we set up our chatbot builder account okay so this is sort of like a dynamic field 
so in case you make updates to your account name it will reflect and sync in right here you don't have to come here and you know repeat that same update right so you can use the account field and then it says please greet customers uh, you can change this to users okay please greet users in a friendly way ask them how you can help them please greet users in three to four sentences greet users in different greeting variations okay so that's pretty much it all right now you can continue to add different instructions but just keep it simple for now okay and then once the user tries to engage with the bot right the user is gonna create an input so once an input comes in you can see right here at the bottom where it says user message we want to keep it the same so the user will send an input to the bot something like get started right on Facebook when they click get started initiates conversation with the bot it sends an input in or they click some link or they say hi something like that it will send an input once the input comes in AI is gonna look at the instructions that you gave right over here and it will generate some kind of a output okay and it will send that over to chatbot builder now when that output comes in chatbot builder needs to save it somewhere so it can display that output to the user okay so over here chatbot builder created AI welcome message custom field so this is where AI will drop that uh, response or that output and then chatbot builder will display it to the user uh, where it says functions we want to X this one out we really don't need that let me just go ahead and X this one out remember conversation we could keep it to yes that's okay and then we get to the point where it says temperature right now it is set to 0 0.5 I'm gonna keep it low and keep it somewhere to 0 0.15 okay so what the temperature does is that the higher you set the temperature let's say if you set it to 0 0.70 0 0.80 then the bot is not gonna strictly adhere to your instructions the bot is gonna try to use a lot of words and it will likely deviate from your instructions uh, and that's not what we want okay so when you set the temperature down to 0 0.15 or 0 0.20 that means that you want the bot to strictly adhere to the instructions that you provided here in the prompt right over here okay so for maximum number of output tokens we want to clear this field we don't need to put anything in here chatbot builder is taking care of all the tokens and the stuff like that all right so at this point we can hit continue all right and we're not quite done yet we want to click anywhere on the canvas just double click click message send message right here and then click that node click add content click text right there and in here we're gonna place our response custom field for AI okay remember we got to display that response from AI to the user so once you click in here click on that bracket thing right here and then we want to look for AI welcome message right over here click on that and then you want to connect this to that okay and then the last thing you want to do we're gonna test this thing out and see how it behaves so we want to move this start icon over here to the one at the bottom so to do that you just hover your mouse over here click on that play looking icon thing click on it once and you notice it moves the start icon to the bottom right here all right and then we want to go ahead and hit publish okay and now let's go ahead and test out our AI welcome message I'm gonna click the three dots here click on uh, get published link 
copy web chat and then I'm gonna go right here paste that in there and then we're gonna take a look at our welcome message okay so here we go all right so it's following the rules that we gave it right here using about three to four sentences okay uh, what else do we say I'm gonna click right here to check, take a look at the prompt okay please greet users in a friendly way uh, ask them how you can help them okay it says I'm here uh, okay here it says how can I assist you today that's good okay so you can see that it's doing all these cool things right here um, over here I said greet uh, please greet users in three to four sentences it did that okay over here it says uh, it says greet users in different greeting variations okay so let's test it out um, on another platform let's see if you will greet in a different variation I'm gonna paste right here and let's see right there okay there you go so you can see that the greeting for this differs from the greeting for this okay here it says feel free to ask anything or let me know how I can help you navigate the world of car loans right that differs from this one this one ends with I am here to help make your car buying experience smooth and stress-free so guys you can see that it followed that instruction of using different greeting variations okay the reason why this is cool is that it humanizes your AI chatbot it humanizes your welcome message it's not the same boring repeated you know welcome message that looks so robotic right ai humanizes your chatbot all right this is how cool this thing is we can even add uh, another instructions for example always use emojis when you greet users okay so we added this one here I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue and then I'm going to hit publish okay and let's refresh this and see as you can see we don't have any emojis here so I'm gonna refresh to see if it will use emojis this time around and there we go see that now your welcome message has emojis in it guys this is really cool right in the past you couldn't do this dynamic instructions right here okay now we can add different instructions and AI will take them blend them all together and produce nice results okay this is really cool all right so um, the last thing we want to do after we set up our AI powered welcome messages we want to add a logo to our welcome message all right so I'm gonna move this guys over here and I'm gonna click right here and then I'm gonna add image right here and move the image above this one Okay, I'm gonna click right here, go to desktop and look for an image uh, right over here. I'm gonna click right here and I wanna use this image. Alright. Okay, let me test it out real quick and see how it looks. Uh, publish link. Okay, this looks good all right so we have a nice cute little logo all right that's cool so try to add a logo it makes it look professional it makes it look good okay and then finally we want to hook them up to the right place okay so I'm gonna go out here I'm gonna go over to settings and then I'm gonna go over to channels 
and then uh, for Facebook Messenger, I want to make sure that I select the AI Walker message right here. Okay, this is the one we just created. Okay, and then I want to go ahead and uh, scroll down to. Okay, we have this selected. Let's go ahead and scroll down to um, web chat. I'm going to click manage. Okay, I'm going to click right in here. And then I want to make sure again that the AI Walker message is selected right here. Okay, and then make sure you hit save right here. All right, going back to channels. Make sure that's selected. All right, we're good. Okay, so now we have our AI powered welcome message set up and we have them hooked up right for Facebook Messenger. And then for web chat, we have it hooked up right over here. Okay, so we're good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching this message. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye.